in this video we're going to be learning about factorization by extracting the common factor so let's get started let's consider 3m minus 15. what is the common factor between 3m and 15. we'll bring out 3 and open the bracket here is a minus what am i going to put here when i multiply by this 3 i will get 3m is m and what am i going to put here by the time i multiply it with this 3 i will get 15 is 5. this is our result and this is the common factor the common factor here is 3. Next, let's consider 2y plus 6. Here, we are going to have a plus and we are going to open a bracket. What is common between both sides of the operator? The common factor is 2. What will I multiply so that I can have 2y? is y. 2 times y will give me back 2y. What will I put here? By the time it multiplies 2, I will have 6. It is 3. 2 is the common factor. Next, we have 2x squared plus 4x. Now, what is common on both sides? Well, we are going to open a bracket and return this operator and close this bracket. Now, what is common on both sides? 2 is common here, 2 is common here in 4. So I'm going to write 2. What else is common on both sides? We have x. Now, what do you think 2x will multiply? And I will get 2x squared. It is x. On the other side of the operator, what do you think that 2x will multiply so that I'll get 4x? It is 2. Hence, 2x is the common factor. Here, we have 27x squared minus 9x. Now, what is common on both sides? Now, we have 27 here. We have 9. 9 is common because 9 can go into 27 and 9 can go into 9. Next, the common factor on both sides is x. I'm going to open this bracket, return this operator and close the bracket. Now, what do you think I'm going to put here? By the time I multiply it with this, I get this back. Now, 3 times 9 is 27. Now, here, I'm going to need another x, so that x times x will give me x squared. Now, what do you think will multiply by a number or a factor here to give you 9x? Well, 9x is here, so if 9x multiplies 1, 9x will return. Hence, 9x is the common factor. Next, here we have 14a to the power of 4 plus 35a squared. Now, we are going to have a plus here. Open a bracket and close the bracket. Now, what is common on both sides? 7 is common because 7 can go into 14 and 7 can go into 35. And we discover that a squared is common as well on both sides. Now, what do you think if I put here, I will multiply with 7, I will get 14. Hence, that is 2. Now, what will a squared multiply to get a to the power of 4? So, it is a squared. So, here, next, what do you think 7 will multiply to get 35? It is 5. Hence, 7 a squared is the common factor. Let's consider 3x 
plus 2y minus 7. What is the common factor to solve this? Now, if you look at this is 3x, this is 2y, and this is minus 7. So here, there is nothing in common. So here, we say there is no common there is no common factor here. So this is just a finished expression and we cannot do anything to it. Here we have 15x y squared minus 10x to the power of 3y plus 25xy to the power of 3. Now here we're going to have here is a minus and here is a plus. Now Let's look at this. What is the common factor in the three terms? Here, here, and here. The common factor is five. What else is common? S, X, X is common. Then what X is common? Y, Y, Y is common. So five X, Y is common. Now these have to return if 5x square multiply here 5 times what will give you 15 here is 3 3 times 5 is 15 i have x here there is one y and i need another y here so that i will have 5 times 3 is 15 this x will return and y times y will give you y squared 5 times something will give you 10 it is 2 now what else do we need this is there is one x here here x is to the power of 3 so we need x squared 5 times 2 will give you 10 x times x squared will give you x to the power of 3 and this y will just return on this side 5 will multiply a, a number to give you 25 it is 5 so 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 and x x is already here so i'm not going to put x here there is one y here so here we have y to the power of three so here i'm going to have y to the power of two so we are going to have five multiplied by five 25 this x will return and y will multiply y squared and you're going to get y to the power of three if this video was helpful please hit the like button. Also, subscribe for more videos like this. I will see you in the next video lesson.